Hello everyone. So this is a quick video on how to sync with iCal, especially that we're having trouble on the website. And I'm going to do it with version 18 here because I know most of you can access that. I'm logged in as James Beecroft so that you'll see more like a user interface uh, than a scheduler interface. So you pick the site, which is this one. And then from schedule up here, you're going to go down and pick sync with your calendar. From there on, you're going to choose the month, and I know that he wants to have February done, so here it is. And then you make sure that it's James who's chosen here. And then you go down here to the options. Uh, I want a time to start a stop. I don't need the location, the location, and I don't need it all day, and I don't need the name of the site. I don't want any alert, although you can do that. Next, you're going to take a look at your shifts, and these are the shifts that are showing up. You can deselect any of the shifts that you want, and then you can hit finish, and now create a sync file. Now, you're going to click here to download the file. Now, I'm not going to open it. I'm just going to save it, uh, although if you open it, it'll, it'll be immediately imported into your calendar. So I'll save it right here. And now let me go to my finder window and here it is. So I'm going to send him this and what he's going to do is going to double click on that. And then once he does, it's going to ask him where, which calendar he wants to put it in. And these are mine. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to schedule in my calendar. And then once he hits OK, it'll automatically be populated. Now what happens is if you're, if anything changes in that month, you can either change it manually in your calendar or re-download uh, the file and the file will, will include the new changes. Thank you.